Rose here at Bella TV, and today we're here at the Staten Island University Hospital with Jamie Maike. Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So tell us a bit about your role as development officer here at the hospital. So being a development officer has to do with anything fundraising. Um, so here I take part in all of our events. I work with our community members to give back to the hospital because what most people don't realize is that we are the largest nonprofit on Staten Island and the largest employer. So we rely on community donations to continue to do what we do um, and to build better, bigger, better structures. Okay, and how has been an active member of this community impacted your time here at the hospital and your relationship with your fellow Staten Islanders and by surgeon? Uh, so before I worked at the hospital, I was Miss New York 2015, mm -hmm. the Miss America organization, um, and it really helped me get ingrained in my community even more than I was before. I'm a native Staten Islander, I was born here, um, so I was already pretty involved, but having that title and having that voice allowed me to meet more people than I ever would have before, and now it's helping me at the hospital because I can spread our word even further that we are a nonprofit, that we need community support, and it's really helped with that. Okay, so you're being interviewed for the July-August issue of Bell Magazine. Can you give our viewers a bit of a sneak preview of what's to come? So I'll really be talking about all of the projects that are happening at the hospital right now because we're in a capital campaign, um, which means we are building a lot of new structures. Um, so first I will also be talking about um, the Women in Newborn Center, the Grapuso Family Women in Newborn Center. Um, so what's happening right now is our maternal services are on two floors in our hospital. Um, and so they're quite a distance away from each other, which is not really convenient for a new mother and a baby in the family. So what we're doing, because they were, born, they were built in 1979, which is a long time ago for a hospital is we're building a brand new structure that's going to house all of our maternal services including our brand new NICU for um, our most fragile infants um, and it's going to be wonderful for Staten Island because we deliver over 3,000 babies every year so it's quite a bit for our island. Um, I'll also be touching on which is really important to me our Florina Cancer Center that we're building um, and for Staten Island which has the highest rates of cancer of any borough. This is really important here because we don't want our Staten Islanders going to Manhattan for their treatments when they don't need to. So since these services are located all across the North Campus right now, um, they'll all be condensed into the Florina Cancer Center um, and it'll just be so much easier for our patients who are diagnosed with cancer to access all of their treatments in one location um, and just make it easier on the families in general. That's amazing. And finally, uh, with all of this projects going on, how can people get involved and help the university continue to grow? Well, the easiest way to get involved is obviously to participate in any of our big events. Um, our events grow bigger and bigger every single year. Uh, we just had our walk, our Northwell Health Walk, which happened um, in May, and we raised over $100,000, which broke some records for us. It was wow. amazing. Um, and Bella Magazine definitely helped with that, so we thank you guys. That was for our Grafuso Family Women in Newport. Center. We have our uh, annual bocce golf and tennis classic that will be happening in June and that's for our Florina Cancer Center and then also for the Cancer Center in October we have our charity ball which is on October 19th um, and so in addition to all these events if you ever want to participate you can reach out to the development office you can go on our website and find the Staten Island University Hospital Foundation we're happy to help you that's great. Well, thank you for your time and good luck with everything. Thank you so much.